hello everyone welcome back to my channel um, I am here for my passion for purple collab it's a collab that I was inspired to create um, thanks to uh, Sarah who is crafting and relaxing um, she has a joy of blue collab and so I decided I would start a purple collab since that is my favorite color and I love making and you know creating with all things purple so um, in this collab um, you can make anything you want it can be jewelry paper paper crafting um, sewing you know crochet any of that um, it just has to use the color purple now for this collab I've been cleaning my craft room this past weekend and I ran across a collection which I had forgotten about and it is the perfect title for this collab, Purple Passion. And um, I've used it before, um, but I went ahead and used it again because I absolutely love the papers in here. Here's all my scraps in here. It has these really cute little cut aparts, like, you know, you fussy cut them. Um, and then these gorgeous papers, all different shades of purple, and some of them tend to be a little bit on the blue side, but they're like a bluish purple. Um, just really gorgeous floral prints. And so, I love that piece right there. I have not used any of that that I know of. I think there's another piece in there somewhere. But, um, so that is the pad. Now these, I have, don't think I've really used any of these. They're the chipboard pieces, but so far I've not really been inspired to use them on any of my projects. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know if I'll end up using any of these, or I may just stashed them or something I don't really know and then I love these now these are the four by six um, cards like card front images and you get 24 of them there's two of each pattern and I absolutely love these these make the cutest most beautiful cards um, also I have been using uh, there's a lot of green in these images so I pulled out these Dollar Tree little sticky pearls, and these are just some um, little rhinestone um, gems that I don't, I, mean, I think I got them at Hobby Lobby at some time, just all different sizes, and I'm just about out of my blue, of the big ones, of the purple, and I've used some on my cards that I'm showing here in a minute, I used some of that next to the largest, or two sizes in. And I don't know that I used any of the other sizes except for a bunch of those. And then these, I pulled them out for a lot of my projects because I absolutely love these. These are clear 2 millimeter self-adhesive um, gems, uh, grindstones. And I love them because they are so tiny. So I use these quite often. I'd actually forgotten about them until I ran across those just the other day. Um, I also used... Tim Holtz. Um, these are called, they're just metallic stickers in quotations. I went with the white and silver. So now that I've showed you what I have used, let me go ahead and, oh, and also I've got this over here. I pulled out these from uh, my butterfly box on my shelf. Uh, it's by La Petite's, which is Hobby Lobby. And I used I think I used one of these sort of pinkish um, collar. It looks a little bit almost rose gold, like slash pink. Um, and then I used a couple of the big butterflies and a few of the smaller ones. And on some of them, I did take my um, Tim Holtz little um, ink pad, which I have been using. It's the, 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 if I can speak, the Distress Ink in Dusty Concord, which is a gorgeous shade of purple. And again, I forgot I had that until I was trying to clean up my craft table a little bit. And I ran across that ink pad and it worked perfect for, well, I didn't use the ink pad. Actually, let me take that back. I didn't use that ink pad on the cards I'm going to show. I used it on another project that will be going up on my channel on Thursday the... 16th so um scratch that i did not use that ink pad in this collab but um i did well i guess i did because i used a little bit to kind of color a few of these butterflies 
that's what I did. Yes. Okay. So I did use that ink pad. <laughs> okay. Um, a few of these, even though they have a glittery um, coat on them, I wanted the, a couple of the cards, I wanted to make them more of a purple color. So I just lightly tapped my little sponger into the ink and then onto the butterfly. And I think it turned out really cute. So let me go ahead and share what I made now. I have six cards that I've created. And these are five by seven. Um, this card here, let me see if I can move this back just a little bit, make it easier to see. Um, here I just used um, six different images out of those four by six cards. And I didn't want to cut any of these down because they all have this really beautiful border around the edge. So I just, some of them I matted with um, cardstock and a few I think I left plain, didn't do any matting. Um, I used a scallop punch on some of those images, and then there's the word sticker. Now, I did, I forgot, I did pull out a couple of my purple doilies. This was just a scrap, so I wrapped it around a, a flag, like a little banner, just for a little extra there. I love how that looked, because um, I realized I wasn't going to do this flag at first, and then I realized I was using this purple, and this... These flowers look almost more blue, but there is this like, dark purple in here, so I wanted to kind of use some purple to help tie that in. And so here's where I just used some of the tiny little bling, and then a green, purple, green, and then more of those two millimeter ones on each end. And I just did a little cluster up at the top. And I absolutely love how this turned out. I didn't want to cover up much of that image because I think it's so pretty. And that's the first card. The next one is this, and here is another thing that I used. Some of this, um, it is, oh, there it is, Flax Ribbon, and it's from Stamp It Up. So I have been using that on some of these projects, or these cards and my other um, twinchies that I'm going to have on my channel on Thursday. Um, so I did... Um, back some of the word stickers with cardstock some I just left plain um, here I used my starburst punch from Stampin Up and I used a two inch circle punch to cut out that image and I think that turned out really really cute here I used a half of a doily and then just put three of the green um, pearls here and then alternated the green and purple down the side there and I really love how that one turned out I love that little, like, almost a postage stamp looking image at the top. I think it's very, very beautiful. All those images in this collection are just gorgeous. Now, this one here, I absolutely love. That is so beautiful. If I ever had, could grow any kind of flower, plant, I would want a purple rose bush in my yard. But I have a brown thumb, so I don't think I would ever <laughs> try to plant a rose bush. But here I just used a piece of a doily on the corner and put the word sticker there. I did back it with purple and green on this one. Here I left that, I didn't back this image any. And instead of adding anything up at the top, I just went with a little cluster down here at the bottom. And I really love how this one turned out. This one is relatively flat, so it may be easy enough to mail. Now this next one has got some dimension because I really wanted to use some of these um, little rosebuds and they are on a sticky, like a dimensional piece of foam. And I just cut, this was one long sticker and I just cut it in half and matted each section on some purple. And this one I didn't mat the image either. I love those three butterflies up and down there. And I just went with some of the little two millimeter rhinestones at the top and bottom. And I didn't really want to cover up much of the image, but I, I think it turned out really, really cute. And that one, see how, how thick that is? And these do not give at all. They are stiff, so this would not be able to go into the mail unless it went into a box, like a package. If, you're mailing, if I was mailing a package to someone, this could go down inside that. But it would not go in a envelope. <clears throat> this next one... Um, this has quite a lot going on. Um, I did matte the image in some green and then purple. Use some more of that, um, 
linen ribbon and I cut this image out which is the same image as that I just cut it out with the scallop and then a two inch circle punch but behind it and then this always and forever I just backed that on some of this darker green like a hunter green and added a little piece of well I just took some of the scrap of the paper from the pad and just made a little flag like a little banner and backed that with the green and put some of those little bling down the side and that one turned out so beautiful love it and the last card which was actually the first card that I made I think this is so cute I love that image with the birds and just put hello friend and I backed that one with some green it's more of a brighter green to pull from like out that green in those leaves and there I backed the little banner with the, that same green and just did the same thing here. So these two basically have the same design. Just added a lot more to this one. Kept this one more simple. And that is pretty much flat other than a little bit of dimension from those gems. But this would be easy enough to mail as well. So those are the six cards that I have created for this collab using Purple Passion um, paper collection. And I don't remember where I purchased this from. I don't even remember how I ran across it. I might have seen it on someone's video and went and purchased it myself. I probably shouldn't have gotten this because I don't think I've used any of it. I go through it all the time and then end up changing my mind because it just doesn't seem to inspire me. It doesn't seem to work with any of these images. But I guess if I was using more just plain paper as a background then these would probably work that way but i've just been enjoying using these images so much that i haven't been able to use the little chipboard pieces yet but hopefully one day i'll use those and there's that paper pad again and who is this by it's by little birdie i don't think i've ever had anything from them until i purchased this set and then i had also gotten a bunch of um, blue things that i had given to my mom for her birthday and Mother's Day last year in May. So that's when I purchased this because I got all of that together. I think they were having a really good sale. I think I had seen the blue items in a video and went and picked those up as well as I saw these purple things. I think that's how it was. I'd seen someone's video and that's how I found out about this company. And it's a really good product. The paper is really kind of sturdy. So I mean, it's a good quality, very beautiful images if anyone's interested in that. So thank you everyone for stopping by. Um, there are several ladies that are in this collab along with me. Um, they will be listed down in the description below if you would like to go and follow them, check out their videos. Um, and I appreciate everyone stopping by and checking these uh, cards out and watching my video and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.